hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how a javascript actually works right so basically javascript uh, you guys all know it's a web program uh, programming language like with the help of javascript you can add uh, additional features to your web page you can make it more prompting okay so for those things javascript is needed okay now i got many queries like um, they, from many people like they wanted a video on how a javascript actually works like when it get embedded with html how it actually works so i'm here with a code in front of you wherein i'll be showing you how javascript works with a basic example okay so in this code the code which is there in front of you there will be a text displayed okay and there will be a button underneath it right and when you click the button the text will change that's what i want the whole thing in my web page okay so for that the basic html you guys know that doc type html and then you go for setting up the language that is en so that html understand that's the language is english okay and then the meta tag and then the title so i've taken the title as javascript demo okay now here the header closes now inside the body this particular part is the main part okay from here it starts so when you see the body part inside the body i've taken h1 okay so h1 tag and then i have written id equal to demo okay now why id equal to demo i have taken you will understand when i get inside the javascript fine so i have written id equal to demo and then inside the h1 tag i have that means the header h1 is header so i just mentioned hello comma javascript so what will happen when you run this particular h1 in your browser so suppose this is your browser fine so here it will just be written hello javascript when you run the code with the you know h1 in it so it will just uh, give you the output as hello javascript okay so this is what you'll get the output now you'll be wondering like why i have used id equal to demo over there so for that let's move on to the next part of the close uh, code okay so here if you see under the h1 i have taken another tag which is button okay so as i said i want the text to be displayed this is my text okay and underneath it i just uh, want a button to be present underneath the text okay so for that i have taken a button tag wherein i'll just i have used the function on click okay that means on click the text will change right so i have written on click equal to change text now this is a function change text is a function okay and inside this i've just written click me that means inside the box click me will come up okay click me will be written over there this particular box click me will be there okay or this particular button click me will be written so when you click on this the text that is hello javascript will change okay now come on to the javascript how exactly javascript plays a role embedding it with the html so here if you see this in this example the browser we want the text to be changed when we click the button right so here inside the body part we have given a id as demo and we have also taken a on click function which is change text so now to make it functional in the website to make this particular button functional in the website you have to add javascript to your code okay so for that what you will do so for that we have to write the function that is change text right over here so function change text this is for changing the text when i click on the button okay and then i have taken a variable that is heading and inside the heading i am extracting the heading what i have entered in the body part with the help of the id that is demo okay 
So let me remove everything so that it's clear to you. So here in this particular line, if you see, so in this line, in this particular line, if you see function change text, okay? So here is the function inside my body of the HTML, okay? Change text. So inside the script, what I'm doing, I'm just writing that particular function that is function change te text okay and then i have taken a data type var with the variable name as heading okay and then i'm first of all trying to call this particular h1 tag that is the heading with the help of the id okay so that is why i have written document dot get element by id and what is the id the id is demo that means as soon as this particular line you write so the javascript will take this particular part that is hello javascript it will come up okay so it will understand that the change text function needs to be applied on this particular hello javascript okay now javascript has understand where it has to apply the change text functionality next is what should be the change text right that means when i click the button the hello javascript will change to some other text right so for that you have to write heading dot text content and this is the content which i wanted to change that means originally the content will be hello javascript and when i click the button it will change to text changed by javascript that's it that is what you have to do it or that is what javascript does actually when it gets combined with the html okay now let's see the output how it is working okay so it's the code is completed like the javascript ends here the body ends here the html ends here okay now the output if you see so here it says hello javascript that is what we wanted right this is this was our h1 tag that is hello javascript and now when i click the button it should change to text changed by javascript right so here when i click this particular button the text should change so when i click this it changed to text changed by javascript right so you see how the javascript got implemented in the html and it worked in the front end of the web page okay now if you see the difference let me refresh it and over here if what if if i just remove the scripting part okay if i just remove the scripting part fine so let me remove it okay and let me save it again and let's refresh this so now when i refresh this off and when I try to click this particular button, it won't work, right? Because I have only written the HTML, that is the front end, like what actually I wanted it uh, want in my web page. But to make it functional, you have to add a JavaScript to it. Okay, that is why we add a JavaScript to make the features which you are adding it into your web page it becomes functional and it gets embedded with the html itself so you have to use the script part that is the javascript part inside the body part of html itself okay so once again here i wanted hello javascript to be displayed on my you know web page and i wanted a button underneath it which says click me so when i click on this button it changes to this particular text okay so in order to make the button functional you have to write a function that is function change text and where where does this function comes from this function comes from the button wherein i have written on click change text that means on click over here is the attribute and the change text is the function which you have given to the attribute which you will be using inside the script, the JavaScript. Okay. And document dot get element by ID and you'll write demo. That means the ID name over here. So I have already written ID is an attribute. So if you see on click and ID, these are the attributes 
you call it as an attributes of html okay so id i have mentioned demo so here this particular the first line inside the function of the javascript what it will do it will understand that i have to change this particular text that is hello javascript right now it has understand that it wants to change the script next is what is the other you know content which needs to be replaced with hello javascript right so the other content is heading dot text content that means why i have written heading dot text content because this comes under h1 that means this is a header tag right so that is why inside the uh, you know uh, javascript you will take the variable heading wherein you have called your h1 okay by document dot get element by id and then heading dot text content that means whatever is the content of the heading you will change it to text change by javascript okay so this is how a javascript works when you embed it you know inside html now if you if you only write the scripting part you don't have the html or css or anything javascript won't show it, show it in in your you know front end you won't be able to see it so in short combination of html and javascript will work if you want to make it more beautiful you can add css to it that's how the three things html css and javascript works